I'm gonna get the tile screen to show you guys something that will be surprising for you all. Not anything major. I have played for this long in total already. Hopefully, okay. And you can actually copy the game data. I don't mind that one. Copy one game file to, into another. And that was because I was thinking about copying a game file. I forgot that you can do this. You can actually copy the game file to another. And I'm thinking of doing that for one of the bonus episodes about the final boss. But what up mates, this is Omega Dragon. Welcome back for some more Banjo Tooie. Last time, we have completed as much as we can in Terry Dactyl Land. Can't really do anything else, as much as I can think of, as far as I can think of. But where we are going now is all the way back up to the cliff top. We were going to go to the final place of Isle of Hags, which is at the Quagmire. But instead, we are going over here to Pale Fire Peaks. That's what we're doing in this video. Because I don't want to do Grunty Industries yet. I want to do that after I learn everything here. So welcome to the lava side of Hellfire Peaks. Two years! Finally I've made it to the warmth of lava world with a belly full of water. Remember what he said there, you need to actually do something with him. It's, it may seem mean, but it's something you have to do. It's also in order to get a Jinjo rescue. Nothing major. Really? Really? I can't do that. Oh, man. There are split pads as well, but we don't need to worry about that yet. Now, there's a tent over here, and you'd wonder why. Well, that's for way later in the game. Like, way later in the world, I mean. Not in the game. Angry Hive. They're always gonna be angry. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry hide. Yes, there are dragons in this world, as you can as you can plainly t see by the heads. They can actually shoot fireballs at you. They can shoot any kind of object at you in order to try to defeat, destroy you, not defeat you. Just trying to wait until the grenade eggs show up. We need a few of those. Oh, uh, we, we already had enough eggs. I didn't know. So, until you defeat those dragons, because there are two dragons in the world, we are doomed, technically. Also, there's this water here, but you can see that steaming. As you can plainly see, we can't do anything about it yet. And we can finally beat these guys. Warning! Trespassers on in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. Because it's way hotter than we can handle. My teas are not as literal. There are three moves I'm believing that we can learn here. But, they're, but surprisingly for you guys, they're not the final three. As you would think. These three moves are actually very close to being the final moves that we need to learn in Banjo or Kazooie. But the final world that has the three moves is actually just the final world before the final boss. Which is better than Banjo Kazooie where the final moves to be learned were actually at Gobi Desert. But in this game, is every world where every, move, where every move would be. Unless I'm wrong, and it is actually this world. But, I don't, but I'm very sure it was the world after this one. Which I'm not going to spoil, because I don't want to say anything until the world is open. 
because then I'll be spoiling what the world is. I'm viewing the totals to make sure I'm right on this. I think there are three moves in here. It doesn't tell us. It would only tell us after. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna die. I was being sarcastic. That was an easy. I'm trying to resort to not destroying these guys. I'm trying to be a pacifist when it comes to those guys. But they always give you three honey or two honey combs. You would think that this, e this world is pretty easy to get lost in, but surprisingly enough, it is actually not too bad. As you can plainly tell, I'm not collecting every note in the game. We don't actually have to collect every note in the game to fully complete this game. 100% completion, though. We would, but I don't know where every note is. It doesn't tell you how many notes you have out of... Unless it does, I'm actually curious. Does it actually tell you? Oh, it does. But you can play... Oh, I did collect every note here. But not in, the, not in Richie World, not in the Major Gold's Mine, and I did in the Mayhem. That surprises me. I didn't think they're... I didn't think they actually counted the notes. I don't know how I didn't think, but, but yeah. Oh yeah. Darn it, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's the rare scene of Banjo crying. Ah, it's really hard, I swear. And I'm sorry to say, but it is ridiculously tough here. Thank you. Oh, we can go inside. Darn it! This is Jiggy in that cage. This is one of those Jiggies that I was actually that I actually had no idea how to collect. So this most likely would be a part where I look up how to get that Jiggy because I remember that I got it before, but. I completely forgot how. Like, I remember that I got it, but I don't remember how I did it. I don't think I climbed up here. There's something up here. Is there more than just this, though? Or is that it? That is it. I didn't go up here entirely. I wanted to wait. I thought that was it. I thought the fireballs were not coming down. I thought the cave was safe for the whole time until it wars again. But of course, I was dead wrong. Oi! This is the Coliseum fo football lobby. I remember now. But surprisingly enough, I was wrong about where this led. But yeah, that building is a coliseum. I didn't. I actually didn't know that was a coliseum. I thought that was just a temple. This like this leads to the kickball lobby, does it? No, it leads to the train station. But you can't do anything about it yet. I'm pretty sure it won't open. Yeah, the gates aren't open yet. There's a train switch somewhere around here. But it's not down here, unless it is. There's also gargoyles. The doors aren't open. Honeycomb. Oh, they aren't. I've ne I've never beaten those guys before. I didn't think they were. I didn't think you could actually beat them. I thought they were invulnerable to anything. Well, I was wrong. I'm not going in the other side yet. Pretty sure this is where the move to be learned is. And that's how you beat those things. Oh, okay.
Okay, that's it then. Save. I'm gonna wait until the fireballs pass. I think you need Kazooie for this. No, you need Banjo. Now I remembered. Darn it. Can't do it here yet. Warning, trespassers. Yes, yes, I know. So you can't learn that move. You can't learn... Maybe it's here that I learned. It's also funny that I have six bars with Banjo. What is this? Okay, this is the part where I need to be... Using, I think, both of... I think I need to use both of them. It doesn't matter, really. But that's how I get a Jiggy for one. That's one of the rooms that I can get a Jiggy in. Like I said, this is the only world that has two bosses in it. Not counting the Isle of Hag, because the Isle of Hag is a world by itself, but the only way to get Jiggies is by... Jinjo's. I'm just trying to find that move. Wasn't here for curiosity. Is that where I went before? Nope, this is the actual place. Coliseum Kickball Stadium. And there's a warp, too. And don't trust this. This is a Minjo. Proof? There you go. That's proof. This guy again, but I need Kazooie. Because it's funny for what happens if you use Kazooie. There's a split pad here. I could go on here and... You and then go back to Kazooie. I'm actually gonna do that. There we go. I just wanted to do this so that I can go over here. Darn it. That did not go well. And go up here. Doll. I slid whoop wiggle pulse blast. Oh no, not this again. I thought Kazooie would have said that line, but surprisingly it was just banjo. That says it. Like I said, don't trust that help one unless there's two over there. Pretty sure that for the split pad, oh dang it. Pretty sure for the split pad, I am needing banjo for this. Oh, I see. Dang it, I can't do that move then. Wait, yeah, I can. I need, I need banjo only. There's no jiggies in here, just to, just to tell you that. The only way you get jiggies is by doing their, doing those stone, I think they're stonies, doing those guys' favors. I don't think this is the wall, it's not. It's the wall next to it. For one thing, these are the claw climber boots, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. They may be the claw climber, but I call them the plunger boots, the suction boots, or whatever. So yeah, you can't do you can't do whatever is up. You can't get whatever is up there yet. Technically, you can't go in here. That's for later. Pretty much when I'm done with Grunty Industries, I'll go back in this world and get the thing needed. Because I think it leads me to Mayhem Temple where I have to use Humba Wumba. There was a move here. I swear there was, and yet I'm not finding it anywhere. I swear there was a move here. I'm gonna fall down again to my death. I'm just gonna go over here.
For one thing, you are supposed to go over here, where there will be a switch. As you saw, that was number one. So you have to try, your fu try to find your way around. The basic time limit is your air supply. And once you get the switch, once you get all the switches, the reward is obvious. And I may be quiet, but oh wait, there's also the extra honeycomb piece. Completely forgot about that. And that's like the easy, that's like the simple yet pretty tricky kind of thing, kind of deal. And for sure, that's all of the switches. Don't mind the camera being so slow. I can't fix the sensitivity of that. Is that all? I swear there was five switches. Apparently not. Darn it. Huh, I got them. I called that guy the goblin, but he's not he's clearly not a goblin. But yeah, I still call him the goblin anyway. There we go. Jiggy! That's our first one. Now I'm going back in as Kazooie to get the honeycomb piece. You won't get me, I am too nimble. Hello, little goblin. There's notes over here. Because I didn't go this way yet. What's over here? Oh, right. To my surprise, I actually forgot. Darn it. There we go. Well, I also remember, unless I'm wrong, I'm not wrong, there's Mumbo's skull right here. Oh, great. Not good. Not good at all. I made it in. What's in here is... It was supposed to be something. There's a globo underneath. Oh, wait. Dang it. I needed the dragon to aggro on me. You have to let that fireball go right there. And that explodes the whole thing. And you can now fly freely anywhere you'd like. The globo... I swear... It was way easier than... Where the heck is the Globo? I have sworn it was right here. Also, there's a switch here. What does that do? It activates that. That leads you back to the tent and there's the Globo. It was right there. Now, Mumbo doesn't have a use quite yet because in this side of the world there's nothing yet for us to do. Unless that's not an entry. It is. That activates Chuffy. That, uh, that's Chuffy's switch, so now you can actually use Chuffy here. But the next thing to do is to find a way where you can get to Gobi. Got you. I only got one Jiggy. The other two shouldn't be that bad to get. There's also a move here, that's why I'm delaying. Oh, dang it. Come on.
for one thing, we can get this. But which would have been otherwise impossible to get. Ah. Apparently, I'm wrong about about what this is. But might as well go in here. Scanners indicate location of kids is evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting Earthlink glass winds. Be careful. Yikes! I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady. Activate jetpack. <clears throat> Never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Like he just says that he's dead. I shouldn't like it. It's pretty sad, honestly. But yeah, it's sort of silly. He would have just said his last words, but his last words was just, I'm dead! There's this guy. Oh, big old foot. That hurt. Oh, I'm an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. I'm also curious if we can do anything in this world without using those shoes. We already got one of the Jiggy, so it is possible. What, Cheek? Fancy trespassing on my glacier without my permission. Boy, are you going to suffer. That's quite a wallop, doesn't it? I'm real proud of my enormous foot. But... I like this part. What? My audio is not working. It's a good thing I detected that. We skipped the whole freaking Bigafoot scream. You cannot be serious. All because of my dumb audio. That ruins my day. I'm actually going to cheat by letting you guys hear the Bigafoot yell. Because that is annoyingly dumb. I'm using YouTube for this because otherwise I would have been very annoyed. Hey, alright. Oh, ah, my poor enormous foot. Where's the first aid kit? <laughs> There, I wanted to at least show that because otherwise, I, the audio just didn't work, and that, and that was what annoyed the heck out of me. Because that, the audio didn't work at the worst time. So yeah, I had to. So yeah, apparently I lost my audio after all of that. Pretty sure I think the. The claw climber shoes. And we can't rescue this Jinjo yet. We have to... We have to figure out what to do about that. But that is one of the Jinjos that is actually not a Minjo. But there's a big blizzard in the way. I swear I rescued that Jinjo before, but I don't remember how. Notes. And there is something familiar here. Hey, young man, I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So, isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for my for, for him. My husband, George, was blown away into the sky. Don't think you're taking this little man I've acquired either. 
Now here's the now here's the worst thing that you have to do, which honestly I don't really even feel that bad for. These ice cubes are supposedly evil in the first game, so how are you supposed to get this guy out of her? Well, simply enough, you have to explode her with a grenade. Ah! Tell George his dinner is in the two out of three yellow gingers. And the igloo has updated itself. It's no longer made of ice. It's made out of stone. I'm not going in it yet because there's something else for us to do. For one thing, there's this pad for Mumbo. Now, for one thing, we can actually use a warp pad. Ah, there's a warp pad right here. Just move. Yes, I know. I'm dead. And I'm sobbing. Well, at least I found the the thing. Be back when I get Mumbo out of his skull, which I'm going to need a glove of. I'm skipping all that dialogue because it's all the same. Now with Mumbo, we see that alien father. For one thing, there's the jiggies. There's Mumbo's wigwam. But what we need to do. There's a mumbo pad up there. So you would wonder how we could get there. One thing, there's a honey hive right here. I'm rescuing you! We are supposed to rescue the dad. Hope this works. Life Force, Alien Dad. This is one of the jiggies I'm also going to get. Big drop hurt lots. Lots, where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Didn't need puny earthling magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. Me should teach lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we, could, we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow up the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo like gifts. Not tacky alien merchandise, though. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect an alien signal. Mumbo impressed. Not but Mumbo magic better. So we have to rescue all three of their children. And the next one is just right there, and he's and he's a poor little child that is cold. Funnily enough, this is not disappearing, so this is another useful. This is another use kind of deal, another one of those usage kind of deals. So the next thing we're doing is rescuing those children. So I'm going back into the fireside. And I'll be back when I go back to the ice side as Bear and Bird. The fact that the fact that I actually really like doing read, reading speech things, and many uh, many people would say that it's really bad to just not really bad to read, but it's really like hard. It's really hard to catch up with the dialogue, sure. But I actually really love the read, reading speech thing. It helps me with the voice acts instead of. Listening to characters' voices, I can just make up, make them up as I go. Now to save the children. The first one was near Mumba, right in this ice cube over here. I think one of them we can't really save yet. What's wrong with it? Beats me. You could try big two mouth recipe. Rescuitation, rescuitation. Urgh, no chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. The other one is in another ice cube, but the other, but then the other one, I have no idea how to get to it. I think it's to do with this, with the plunger shoes that I can't do yet. I can't deal with yet. 
That's why the pad didn't disappear. That child was just dead again. Or sleeping. Maybe dead is a better term. Torm. Don't mind me. Ignore me. Oh, that was it? Useless cave. Is there supposed to be a move taught here? I'm very sure there was a move taught here. There's another place somewhere around here that I'm trying to get to. Are you kidding me? Oh, right. Another thing we need. We need to melt the ice. Now this guy actually is a familiar face. And surprisingly enough, we cannot melt, melt the ice with Kazooie's fire eggs. We need Mumbo Jumbo for him. So yet yeah, again, two things that we need Mumbo for. <sighs> What's this then? A warp pad, finally. Notes. You would think the notes are actually really easy to find in this game, but surprisingly enough, there are a few that are actually pretty tough. Oh, dang it. This is only avoided when you defeat the bosses in this area. That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. If you go up here, there's another lava side cave route right over here. But where does it lead? Answer is, it led us to the same exact place we went to when we went to the higher place. And if we continue going up, there will be this over here, a jiggy that we cannot get to. Now, on that top right there, as you can see it, right here, where my cursor is pointing, that's a, there's a Jiggy up there, but we cannot get it as you can see. There's a, there's a hole right here, and you cannot get in there as you are right now. Now, you cannot do it with Banjo or Kazooie, or with both, of course. Darn it, I wanted red feathers. In here, the final place, Icicle Grotto. Hey. These guys are actually pretty mean. They would look, they don't, unless they are glaring at you. No, they're not. They're like, hey, you want a hug? But they're actually, they're actually, as you can tell, enemies. Of course, that was obvious anyways, but. Also, there's this. You can actually get up here as Banjo as well. Is this a Banjo? Yeah, it was. Got him. Warp pad. I'm pretty sure we can do this now. But if you go over here, nothing yet. But we have to go up higher. Are we able to do this yet? Or, or are we needing someone else? Oh wait, I remember. I was stumped on this for a while and then I looked and then I looked up what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to shoot grenade eggs at these icicles. I, I had no idea that these were up here the last time I played this, which was the second time two years ago. But these ice goals create a bridge. There we go. And that will lead you to the next Jiggy, I believe. Either that or a new move. For one thing, I'm pretty sure you can get this as Yeah, you can. But it's just a it's just a clue left. 
Now this, I think you can do with Banjo and Kazooie. Now watch this, it might be a waste of time. Well, who knows, it might not be. But you can go onwards in here. And it will lead either to this place right here. Which, there's the honeycomb piece. Number six. Or, you leave, and that's all that it would give you. And you go over here to the exit. And where it leads you to is to a new move. And of course, forget it, punk. You won't be needed to learn this one. Just flee her all there. Oh. Oh. As I thought, you need Kazooie only. I think I might know what this is, actually. This might actually give Kazooie... Unless I'm wrong, it gives Kazooie an ability of... Something that I thought you could learn in the world before the final boss. But I may be wrong as well. It may be something else that I'm thinking of. What? Not enough, Fleabag. I want to see at least 660 notes before I tell you how to glide. Oh, I don't have enough notes. So yeah, he does t teach you how to glide in this. And I'm dead. And it rescues one of the Jinjos over there as well, but I thought that was in one of the I thought that was in the world after this. That he teaches you how to glide. I didn't think it was this world. So now that actually makes me think that the last world teaches you probably one or two moves, or it doesn't teach you any. Which it pretty much confuses me and because I thought it actually does teach you something. But surprisingly enough, this path has no jiggies for us. Just the move to learn and the Jinjo to rescue. That's all this is. Now I'll be back when I find something to do. Or when I find that ice cream. We cannot go in there, sadly enough. For one thing, how many notes do we have? 625, I know, but how many in this world? 90! Interesting. Darn it. We can go over here. But where does it lead us? It leads us over here. Interesting. I actually didn't know this was here, so there was more to more to this than I would have thought. Darn it. I'm gonna die. Darn it, I thought I thought that would have been it as well. Wait, I know how to rescue that Jinjo. Unless I'm wrong, I think I know how to rescue it. Yeah. Shit, that's what I'm looking for. Ice cubed kid. Frozen up kid that is actually wanting to see his- Dang kid! See his dad! Might be up there, honestly. Might be where I was dumped. Might have been up there instead. Looking for some sort of water. I found, found something on my way to find that ice cube where the where the child was. I think I have to use banjo here. Are you kidding me? There's a globo, and there's the ice cube where the kid is. So I was wrong on both fronts. Now I'm curious about this. Welcome, Banjo Bear. Where is Dumb Bird? <laughs> I like how she just said, Banjo Bear, where's Dumb Bird? What does she say when she sees Kazooie? That's actually something I've never seen. Oops. What's wrong, Bird? You lost Banjo, buddy? That's actually very sweet. I'm gonna rescue the kid. 
That makes me wonder what the use of that ledge grab even is. Other than it's the way back, so that's why that's why it was there. The kid is free! Thanks, Earthling! Now I just need to find the last child. Because what I want to do is use Mumbo on the last child. The vinyl, the last last child. The last child I'm looking for is the one that's on top of something that I think I need the plunger shoes for. And where the alien kid is, is right there. So you don't need those. You don't need that. Well, yeah, you do. You need to get up there and then fly all the way over to that platform. So that is something that I'll wait for. Because I can't do that yet. But what I will do is something that I will be able to do the other way. As one of the transformations from Wumba. Humba Wumba. Does it tell you now? about how many moves there are. I'm pretty sure there's three moves here. It still doesn't. You need to learn a move first before it confirms how many moves you actually need to be taught. Now this is pretty interesting for what to turn into. Wumba call this snowball. Use left stick to move and hold A for big heap roll attack. That's not A, it's X. A is jump, of course. But what I want to do is continue being this size, which won't happen. And 5 health is the most you will get as well. So you can't get up here normally. There's a warp pad, but I cannot fit in it. Oh yeah, I can. Upper area, that's where I need to go. Darn it. Darn it, I need to be... Can I do it in this size? At this size? Or do I need to continue being big? That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. So it's pretty hard to do, but it's not impossible. But what it does is it activates this, and it will give you a jig. Yes! Did it! That would have been first try too, but instead I just took damage from that lava hand. Let's see if there's anything worth digging up down there. And the jiggy will be going down that pipeline which you which you need to be small for. So I'm going to shrink down to small size. Please don't- Oh, come on! Because otherwise it will not work. But I can go in here as just this guy. I thought. No, wait a minute. Apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. Apparently this small guy is not enough. I think you need to actually do it as just the clockwork bomb. Oh, I'm dead. I thought I was gonna make it to the warp. I'm dead again. Gosh darn it, I was not trying to do that. Hey, Rust Brain, you can't go through there. Was I not? 
I'm so confused. I swear I did it as a snowball and it didn't fit in. Was I just supposed to do it with a certain... Oh, dang it! I remembered now. You need to be Banjo for it. But I have no idea where the move is. I know there's a move that you can learn in this area. But I'm stumped on where it is. Something over there. That might be where I need to go. Also, how am I supposed to go over here? My battery is running low. I can never hear my battery. And my stupid wire caused the disconnection to my stupid OPS. Can I really not learn any moves here unless either I get enough notes or unless I defeat a boss? That is annoying if that's the case. Or with the plunger notes or plunger shoes. Darn it, I meant that and not the other thing I just said. I'm gonna die! With the claw climbers. Because where it will lead you, gosh darn it, is over here. The train station. Finally some progress, after a long time. I'll go inside the train to, to make an example. Oh wait, there's something else that's very funny. I've never read the sign. Are you blind? Truffy's right in front of you. Oh, we can't go. I thought it, I thought there was a way to go in the ice in the icy place. There should be. Oh, there's an empty honeycomb piece for one. Aha! There we go. That's number eight, I think. Nope, it's number seven. That's all of the honeycomb pieces we would need. Ah! Oh, really? There was the switch the whole time. That was where the that was where the switch was the whole time. In the next video, I'll do my least favorite world in the game because I because otherwise I can't learn any moves apparently. Wait, can I rescue that Jinjo now? Not in here. Pretty sure I can. I'm heavy enough. Come on. There we go. Six out of nine black gingers. It's impossible to do unless you are that. Wait, I remembered what this is. I remembered what this whole Colosseum was. Turn it wrong direction. For one thing, I need to go in here. And I need to split in between Banjo and Kazooie. Like, unable to do, you're unable to do most of this world without learning that move. Which I think is dumb because I feel like there was a lot more cheekies to get without using them, but I've been I've been apparently wrong on that part. Because there's the jiggy right there. But in order to get it I have to go in there, which I need to claw climber boots as well. And there's a Jinjo right there as well, but I need to figure out how to get there without you without getting hit. Part of me thinks it's something to do with what's on top of the balls. I 
always forget. I always forget there's stairs next to the tent. I'm trying my best to find the train station as well, but I'm also trying my best to find the last move needed, apparently, to learn in this place. So for one thing, for what move that is needed to be learned, you need to fly, or you need to go somewhere in here, and I think you learn it as banjo only. But I don't know where exactly. Because there is something down there that is needed. And I swear, you can learn this as just banjo. You can learn the move required to get that fish as just banjo. But I thought it was in this world. I could have sworn it was. But it's not, apparently. Sorry, Gobi. Dang it! There's something I forgot to do. Enable some sort of audio. I'm stuck! Sorry, but I can't go there. The sudden drop in temperature would crack my boiler, and it would be curtains for me. However, if you can find a way to cool my boiler a little... Then you would be able to go. I just wanted to see... I just wanted you guys to see what he says. I knew what he said because... I've acted it, faded it before. The first time, I was very confused about what to do. But when I saw Gobi, I was like, Oh! I need to find a way to get to Gobi. But then I had no idea how to get there. But the simple thing was what you what you saw. I could fly up there. Finally, I activated that audio. And that was after trying to find that move, which I swear was found here. But apparently I cannot find it where exactly to go there to in order to move, learn that move. Now that I'm here, finally, I can go to Are you kidding me? Seriously And I'm done. There. Please, not my precious water again! Hiya! Can't do it as a drill. You just have to do this. Oh no! It took me since the last game to save that. Ah, yes. That seems to have cooled my boiler enough. I'll let you take the chuffin' train to the ice side. And you can't pound him again. He will just stay there the rest of the game. Oh wow. That's what happens if you try to land in that chimney. It just bounces you right back. But I can go in here, I think. I thought. Apparently not. And that lighter is absolutely worth it. Now I can go to the icy side, finally. Select the destination. Hailfire Peaks, icy side. And I'm also not going to go to Boggy before learning to move. Or before they're getting all the kids back to Mrs. Boggy. There's also what you would think is a Jinjo, but I'm actually thinking it's a Minjo. Now, there are multiple things here. You would think it's just that Minjo, but there's more than just that. You can never find the exit. First up, there's all of this, plus an ice cube of eggs. And you can swim here without any worries of freezing. But there's nothing underwater. 
Ah, oh, Strong, yo, I know you're not a Jinjo. You want my proof? Here. First off, I'm just exploring around the region, seeing if there was anything else here. But now you would wonder how I get up there. You see that pole? I can climb it. It's a broken down track. Benjo! Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just gonna beat him like that. What's in here again? Feathers. Just wanted to make sure. As you go over here, there's the Jiggy. At long last, Jiggy number two. Now, for another Jiggy that I'm going to get, I need Banjo. And I need to learn that trick. It's in order for me to reach to the icy side, and there's another use for it, but I'm not going to do it quite yet. I don't know why I came to this side of the train. Technically, the only way to get this train to stay in the icy side is to quit the game. Because then you spawn all the way back to the beginning. And I was curious about what he would say if he was staying at the icy side. Wow, well, that's a spoiler. Surprisingly enough, despite how long this video has been, and I doubt this video will be like super long to edit, I am actually going to collect four Jiggy in this video because there's one more Jiggy that I can get after getting the one Jiggy with Banjo, and that is by using Mumbo on that familiar face from before. It's funny because you can actually collect two Jiggies here with only Mumbo. And also, behold, there's actually there's actually two Jiggies you cannot collect here nonetheless. Because for one, you can't collect a lot of Jiggies without learning the Claw Climbers. Also, I know I need Banjo here. But I'm going to the lower part. I oh, know! There's a freaking dragon somewhere around here. But. I need. I need to just climb all the way up here. I know there is that move. I saw it. It was right below this part. I just have to look very deep below, and there it is. Ow! Apparently that hurt, and I can't learn to move because I don't have enough notes. So never mind about collecting that Jiggy. So instead I'm going to get the Jiggy from the, from the familiar face. So what I need to do as Mumbo in order to get up there, unless I'm wrong, hopefully I'm not wrong by this, you can go down here and climb those stairs as Mumbo. It's hard to do, but you can do it. Then what you're supposed to do is go all the way up here, break the ice. Yes, I get it. And do this. Hope this works. Life Force Sabreman. It's Sabreman, but not by it's just said in a in a cool way. I quote. He's alive! 
managed to extract some. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. Mumbo thinks seen crazy old man before, perhaps. It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name Sabre the Man. And Fenturing is my game. Or at least was my game. What Cable Man doing in ca Ice Block? That cursed Sabre Wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you save your way to warming me up? Mumbo not do that, but no bear that might. And the pad disappears. I got hit by the dragon hammer. <laughs> I went too close to that hand. Surprisingly, I didn't get burned by the lava. I say, any chance of a little heat? So I need to use the fire eggs on them. But you need to do it more than once. Three times, and he's back to his usual self. That's so much better. Glad to help any old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea in 40 weeks. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Of course. This sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the furry side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now. So, now we need Banjo here. Only Banjo. Uzui has to stay behind. And it's surprising too, because this is the only time that Kazooie's actually been nice to the guy. Because, seemingly, she has quite an affection for the guy. Not really affection, but really like, she's honored to be meeting a real hero. But now, we need Banjo here. I'm dead! Gosh darn it! And I'm not cutting this because it's all, it's all simple. All we need to do, I die! I didn't die, I took damage that time. But we need to carry this guy. Got him. Now we need to go to the lower area. Which I'm not kidding because all we need to technically do is jump over here. And we are all set to get lower area. And go all the way back to the tent. And there we go. We got him out. My tent! My equipment! It's just as I left it all those years ago. It's probably worthless anyway. My treasure is still here too. You may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden ginseng piece. No use to me. I'm hanging on to my boots. All those years ago. I did the grammar wrong. Now he'll be going to sleep. Bears and their own adventures. Ha! You can actually just go to him every time and he will say something else. But that's the final jiggy we can collect in this world, stupidly enough. I wonder what adventures may await me. So, next time in Banjo Tui, unfortunately, we are going to go to Grunty Industries. As much as I don't want to, but it's the only choice we have because most of what we need to do involves learning. Involves note collecting and the clamor claw. I don't know what I'm doing. I 
I don't know what I'm doing. Gosh darn it. Ah! I'll see you guys next time. Apparently I'm distracted.